progressive media outlets in India have been targeted, have been slapped with ridiculous charges that are facing persecution, are facing rage, arrest every single day. The New York Times itself acknowledged it. And yet, they continue to tell these slanderous lies that today are upheld by the worst type of policies you can imagine. Amit Shah, the Home Minister in India, went to the Parliament floor with this lie of the New York Times to say that our comrades and colleagues at Newsquick are somehow Chinese agents just because they cover the farmers' protest. And you want to know why the BJP government hates Newsquick so much? Why they have to attack them and go to their houses with over 500 police officers to target young journalists, people who for the first time are getting to tell the truth about what's happening in their country. Do you want to know why? Why? Because they dare cover the incredibly powerful and courageous uprising of farmers in India. They were talking to farmers when they were committing suicide in the dozens and in the hundreds. When no journalist, no journalist would go and actually ask the farmers, why are you why are so many people committing suicide? Why are people on the streets demanding that these laws not be passed? Why is rural India in crisis? And it was Newsquick, it was the people of Pearl Archive of India that went to the countryside, that went to these protest camps, that spoke to these farmers and asked them why they were there. And they told their story. They told their story from day one. And these farmers protest, maybe after six months, made it into publications like the New York Times, where they said, there's some farmers that are kind of angry in India. And so they're camping outside the capital, New Delhi. But it was news clicks, and it was all of their brave journalists that were out there every single day, risking COVID, risking their lives to tell these stories. And it's because of them that we're here today. We're here to defend that journalism that's telling the stories that we need to hear, that we need to hear in the United States, because the stories of those farmers are the stories of farmers here, are the stories of working class people in this country who are standing up and demanding that they be respected and that demanding that they have rights and that they live in dignity. It's news click that covered the largest, the largest strike in human history. A quarter million people on the streets. You don't hear about that in the New York Times, I think. 